Welcome to WTSA, the World Telecommunications Standardization Assembly being held here in New Delhi, in India, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio by Ritu Rajan Mitar, who is the chair of WTSA 24. Ritu Rajan Mitar, thank you very much for being with us and welcome to the studio. Thank you so much. Now, let me start off by asking you a little bit about uh, this year's WTSA. It's been extremely successful so far, but what would you like the outcomes of this year's WTSA to be? I would like to see the outcomes in three parameters. One, the participation. Second, the structure. And third, the content. And as far as the participation is concerned, we have more than 1,839 delegates. And with the closing plenary scheduled tomorrow and day after, the numbers could increase. So that's a kind of a record for uh, ITU meetings. Uh, and as far as the structure is concerned, uh, there is a merger of study group 9 and study group 16. Uh, in the opening plenary. So that also, also is a very historic step in terms of the consolidation of the study groups that we were wanting to have. In terms of content, there are so many new resolutions related to AI, metaverse, digital public infrastructure, to name a few, and they are still under discussion, and we are hoping for good results in the closing plenary. How can standardization contribute to establishing a robust framework for responsible AI? Standardization will lay guidelines. It will finalize specifications. The AI deployments which will follow these guidelines will ensure trustworthiness, will ensure uh, security, and will follow the principles of ethical, deploy ethical AI deployment. Standards will also ensure that we have a fairness in place, interoperability ensured, and security also taken care of. You are aware of the Global Digital Compact, which also lays a cooperation on the digital front and uh, ethical deployment of AI systems. In terms of gender and standards, how can governments and companies, in your opinion, best support increased women's leadership in the tech industry uh, and support stand the standardization process? Yes, it will all begin with the participation. I would like to see uh, increased participation of women first at the ITU focus group levels, because that is what will prepare them for the leadership positions. Of course, in this assembly, as you may be aware, that out of 10 study groups, two chairs are women. So this is a very good uh, uh, development. So ultimately, the focus group, Another good way could be the participation in the regional telecom organizations. Uh, for example, for the Asia Pacific, we have APT. For the Americas, we have CITEL. For Europe, it is CEPT. Russia, it is RCC. Uh, uh, Arab, it is League of Arab States. And for the Africa, it's Africa Telecom Union. So a good way could be to, for women to attend those positions because they will be discussing uh, the proposals which are coming to WTSA. So that will be another good way. Because the standardization sector has historically been quite male dominated, but efforts are being made uh, to uh, redress that situation. Yes, of course. Yes, this will do that. In terms of your chairmanship, I just wanted to find out what have been uh, the, the highlights for you so far. Not really in my chairmanship, but what I have seen as a highlight here is the spirit of working together. There are 140 member states represented, but the spirit of collaboration and consensus building, which is too visible here, is something of a highlight. Now, I know you've been chair of study groups as well. Um, I wanted to ask you, uh, from, uh, from your perspective, how has this WTSA performed? I think it has been excellent. I'm uh, getting news that uh, most of the things are agreed. The proposals were complex, but there have been good discussions. The consensus building approach with which the ITU fraternity works is working wonders. It's not only been, of course, the plenaries, but there, there have been all sorts of other side events as well. There has been AI for good, there's been Kaleidoscope, there's been a, a, a number of other uh, events that have attracted uh, delegates to them. What do you think people will take away from this year's WTSA 24? I think they will take away the most important thing is that the need for collaboration, the need for working together, and 
a renewed interest in the standardization of things. See, standardization and standards are ubiquitous. They are everywhere, but you don't appreciate. But these events will make that appreciation far more forthcoming. Peter Rajam Mita, thank you so much for joining us in the studio and thank you for sharing these valuable insights and we look forward to catching up with you again very soon. It was a pleasure interacting with you. Thank you. And if you've enjoyed this interview, which I'm sure you will have, then do check out our other interviews on our YouTube channel as well as our podcast on our podcast channels. And for further information, visit our website at www.itu.int. Thanks for tuning in.